Good morning to you all. I'm Jamboni. Excellency, it is with great pleasure and honor that I welcome you today to this significant event, which is really a gathering that not only unites us but symbolizes the convergence of our aspirations and the efforts and shared dreams of a thriving Kenya. Excellency, this um, wonderful event has been made possible by the kind and generous support from our sponsors, KCB, Konza Technopolis, GIZ Vidu, among others, and we are very grateful for that. So in today's conversation, we are hoping to have a reflective moment where we think about where the State Department for Diaspora Affairs and our diaspora has come from, where we have gone, and what the future looks like. Your Excellency, it's exactly 12 months and nine days ago since you gave us the authority by establishing the State Department for Diaspora Affairs to do this important work. This opportunity, sir, envisions a future where the diaspora's impact is not only financial, but most importantly, transformative. And I am proud to report, sir, that we have made important strides in fulfilling those promises. As far as protection of the rights and welfare of the diaspora excellency, together with uh, other state agencies, we've been able to evacuate 1,350 Kenyans from distressed situations um, in human trafficking, in conflict, medical evacuations, um, and so on. And, and, and sir, just to mention that in some of these places where we've had conflict, Kenya has been the first country to get its citizens home during these conflicts. <laughs> Excellency, under the promotion of continuous dialogue, we've held many conversations such as this. You probably don't see them uh, with a lot of branding because a lot of them happen uh, virtually because that is where our diaspora are. We are working on the incentive framework for diaspora remittances, sir. And very early on, you gave me a target uh, of shillings one trillion in remittances, which I am happy to report we are working very hard on. We have seen a 14.1% increase in our remittances in this year, and we expect to close in a strong position. Um, Excellency. Some of the things we've been able to do working with the CBK and others have been to launch, for example, the Dow CSD that now allows diasporians to buy treasury bills and bonds from an app or from a um, web pl platform. Excellency, as you're aware, you also gave us the very hard task of finding diaspora jobs um, for Kenyans and together with the State Department for Labor and Skills uh, and uh, Social Protection and Skills uh, and the entire ministry and other players, sir, we have embarked on the global labor market strategy. And sir, to thank you for creating the Diaspora Placement Agency that now targets our ability to really take up the fruit of our bilateral labor agreements and be able to find opportunities for Kenyans abroad. Excellency, as I conclude, and now that we have done now that we have, in this year, Your Excellency, stabilized the consular situation, we've been able to deal, to a large extent, to the crisis that we had in the Middle East among uh, Kenyan labor. We've been able to deal with consular uh, issues. Excellency, a year ago today, you gave me the task and you said, I don't want Kenyans to travel far and wide to be able to get their passports and IDs. In the last 12 months, sir, we've been able to serve Kenyans in 22 countries, taking the mobile consular services in about a hundred different cities where uh, services are to be found. And we've served people, sir, who've not seen us anywhere, including in Yemen, Your Excellency. Now, as we have stabilized and as we have built that very firm foundation, what is my dream? What is the dream of this ministry for the diaspora? Diasporians, I am inviting you to do four things. I am inviting you to invest back home. And this is what we are going to be speaking about today. I am inviting you to join us in the skills and technology transfer work that is critical that we must do. What will you bring us from the places that you live and work and from all of the technologies and things that you have learned? We want you to partner with us to open up trade routes for Kenyan products and Kenyan services wherever you live. And finally, we want you to work hard to help us find opportunities for Kenyans abroad for jobs where you live and work. And on behalf of the State Department and the government, then we commit to work tirelessly and hard to ensure that all Kenyans abroad continue to be protected, 
to be engaged, to be empowered for our collective responsibility. Asanteni sana, merci beaucoup, vielen Dank, and all of the other languages that you speak when you are in your other homes. Uh, and thank you so much. Now, Your Excellency, this um, morning I would like to invite um, the, Prince, the Prime Cabinet Secretary to give some remarks. We've had a bit of a change in the program, sir. We can have the PCS give some quick remarks. We can have COG give some quick remarks. And then after that, sir, we've had some changes and uh, delegates, we've had some changes where the President has asked both to speak and to be a panelist in the first panel. So we are really looking forward um, to hearing that. Excellency Governor, Karibu Sana Asante. Thank you. Your Excellency, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, Dr. Musalia Mudavadi, uh, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Excellency Governors and Deputy Governors, Cabinet Secretaries, Chairs, Members and CEOs of Constitutional Commissions and Independent Offices, Principal Secretaries, Heads of Mission and Development Partners, Captains of Industry, the Private Sector, Civil Society and the Media, our brothers and sisters from the Diaspora, National and County Government Officials, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning.